Hello, this is Holly with Let's Plan Planners. I'm here today making a quick video to show you how you would download digital page inserts into your digital planner. You can also just download these inserts onto your iPad and add them into any kind of app that would allow you to use them. So what you're seeing on my screen now is my Etsy page. I got here by going to my profile, which is the little head icon. If you click that and you go to your purchase and reviews, it will let you get to all your past purchases with your downloads. You can also get to your download by just going to the Etsy email you received after purchase and clicking on the download. So let's get started. I'm going to click on the download files. It brings me to this page. This particular file has two in it. One is instructions and one is the Christmas bundle. So I'm going to click on the download Christmas bundle. I want to download, so I'm confirming by clicking the blue download. Then I'm going up here, the fourth icon in will show my downloads. Click on that arrow. It'll drop down the downloads. You go ahead and click that again to unzip it. It brings you to your files page within your iPad and it shows it here at the top. It's still zipped, so we're going to click it again. Give it a second and it's unzipped. That's how fast that is. Now go back to your planner that you would like to add your pages in. So I'm clicking my home page, going down here to good notes, and I already have a page open to do this. Oh, there we go. Um, and we're going to add it onto this page. I like to do this by doing the split screen with the dock. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Oh, I don't want to do that now. Oh shoot, I hit empty. There we go. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. I take my finger and slide up from the bottom of the screen and I find my blue folder and I slide that over to the right and it creates a split screen. Then you can see right here is my Christmas bundle. I go ahead and click on that blue folder. It's going to take a second and open up all the pages um, and just give it a second to load. Sometimes it takes longer than others depending on the magic of the internet. So once you get your pages on here, let's just go ahead and click one instead of waiting for the others to load. You put your finger on it, drag it to your empty page and there you go. You can drag this split screen back closed, and now you can play with your planner page, resize it, um, do what you want with it. You can crop it with these little blue rectangles on the side if you have stuff you wanna crop. So let me show you how you would do this if you didn't wanna use that split screen method. So let me get out of this um, page by clicking on the toolbar there, and I'm just gonna slide over to an empty page. Let's go back and click on our toolbar. Now we're going to the icon that looks like the picture. It's about in the middle. Go ahead and click that. It gives you this drop down window. These are actually pictures. Um, mine looks like it's not because I have a planner life. So these are pictures in here and you could click on any of those to add to your page. Um, this is also a nice feature if you like to take screenshots of things you wanna remember or of important paperwork and you can add them onto your pages that way also. But I wanna get to my folders where I put those downloads. So I'm going to click the bottom here that says insert from. It's going to bring up my folders. Um, if you cannot find your folders, if it doesn't open it up, you click this blue back arrow and you would click it and you would maybe go to your downloads. If you click it again, you can go to recents and then you can go to where you stored it. So I believe I did it there and I believe I did it in my downloads. Yeah, it's right there, Christmas bundle. So you click on that, it will open it. And then you just click on what page you wanna add to your planner tap it and there it is. And then again, you go ahead and you resize it and you put it on your page where you want it. And that's how easy it is. If you accidentally clicked on the one, uh, wrong one, you just click on the circle with the X and it takes it away. So that's it. That's how you go ahead and add your digital page inserts into your planner. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.